Welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today's episode we're just going to kind of be jumping around from uh, project to project, getting things ready for planting season, pulling season, and uh, tractor show season. So, um, got first thing we're going to be starting with is wheelie bars for the 30117. Um, in here is a water pump for my 7060 with the 301. Decided it was going to leak. And then uh, almost $500 worth of hoses for that new disc. We got a couple other things. Um, you guys see this leak? Stick around. We're going to be fixing that too. So here is where that leak was coming from. One little obnoxious o-ring, right? But anyway, must have caught it going in that's the o-ring on that pin right there that seals in the cast uh, took special care to make sure that didn't happen again so he's getting good at it this took him about 20 minutes went over to the machine shop and made that the other day uh, yesterday I guess it was so first thing we're going to do is weld that on so I'll show you what that looks when I get done with it Right now I'm just preheating it about 250 degrees. Here's how that turned out. Three beads. Looks pretty good. I bet it doesn't break there. It's going to break here if it does. It's not really too good. Uh, but I add something back under there. I did not weld across the seam on the bottom to create that breaking point, but I think I need to add something there. We'll see what happens. Okay, we finally got this thing done. Fully adjustable. Pulling eye. Set up at 18 inches. Weight bracket. Doesn't allow the weights to come out past the tires. All in all looking pretty good. And it's going to have a hand clutch that doesn't slip in the high side anymore. That'll be nice, huh? Figured this would be a good time to show you guys my uh, weight bracket setup and wheelie bars. They hold the ass end of the tractor up. Um, over 2,000 pounds I can put back there. Then another 1100 or something on the front end. Get it done. Something else we did. Look at those. Here are our ramps that I finally built. No more ditch banging. See how they sit on there. Piece of angle iron is a gusset. Well, you got the gusset there. Pretty simple. They work well. Drove the tractor up on it, stopped it, and kind of bounced on them a little bit. They didn't budge. Pretty happy with how they turned out. Center one so that our tires in the middle aren't going into the things there. And then I finally got myself a set of acceptable pulling tires for that 19 out there. These are 18438 Firestone All Traction Field and Road 151, boys and girls. My favorite tire. Look at the tread on them. Look at the angle of that tread already. Get driving on the road. Get that edge sharpened up a little bit. These are gonna. These are what I wanted. Good offset on there too. Got these delivered. Thank you, Jordan to the farm yesterday for six hundred dollars patience 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 that's all I can say so here's a disc he's just taking and cutting the hoses off with the sawzall and I'm disconnecting we're gonna put new hoses on it all the way around and uh, it's got a few loose bolts in a couple of places that need to be tightened up and grease it up and we got to put a cylinder on it. A little dampener on our fun, but we got all of the hydraulic lines ran for the wings. 
start hailing on us here. Oh well. Okay. So here's the 7301. 7301, I guess we're calling it now. Sounds like it works. Not only is it weeping here at the water pump. Check that out. Here's your sign. So we're going to replace that quick. Uh, we have the disc hooked up to this now. We have the AC cylinder on it. Looks like it belongs there, doesn't it? Um, everything's working. Doesn't appear to be leaking at any of the cylinders yet. Keep our fingers crossed. So we're gonna get this water pump put in here and go get this hooked back up to the plow. So it's first job this year is gonna be plowing. So these two pumps, when they're not side by side, look very similar. They say that they fit the same thing, a Gleaner M2, which is what that engine came off of, 2900 engine. It does not fit. Fortunately, we have this one. It does fit. It doesn't have, this right here is the only difference, but you notice that we just have it plugged off anyway. Unfortunately, this can't just sit here while we wait three days for a new pump. So we're going to put that used one on it and send it for now. going to order a new one, put it on the shelf for future reference. All right, something else that we did here was just added a hydraulic line to bypass that. If you guys remember, I had, uh, I had that wrong. Uh, Byron comments on he watches and comments sometimes and he told me not to do that and they had done that on a d21 I think different pump but anyway uh, he said when they fixed the cylinder down there all hell ensued so all right so I was talking to Byron he watches the channel and comments sometimes he said that uh, I don't want to plug that because um, well, anyway, he's got experience with having that plug, and when they fixed the cylinder down there, he said all hell came unloose, and uh, he did the same thing I did, blew that off of there. So, anyway, um, we should be good to go now. Actually, good to go. Another little thing for plow day. Notice that I had a cracked fitting and was leaking, so went and got a new fitting for that. Put it on there. I don't think we're going to get the manifold in time, but not a huge deal. So this is, uh, we got Bob over here setting his plow. He's up on a six inch block because that's about what we're aiming for is six inches. And he's got everything nice and level, flat on the ground. That's what you're looking for. So I picked this up at an auction last weekend. It's coming to pick it up now. It's an Alice Chalmers uh, rear mount cultivator. Um, this particular unit has been turned into a six row. They just welded that on and put the extra gang on there. On each end made it a six row. I'm gonna be cutting that off, turning it back into a four row and be pulling it behind Frankie for my first pass. Um, if you notice, I'm going to put uh, Danish tines on there. It's got the springs already. I'm going to put the spikes on it. And um, this will be for the first pass. I guess these are just the cat's ass when it comes to that in the smaller corn. So I've been looking for one. And I picked this one up for $125. Couldn't be happier. It's, I mean, basically uh, change the shovels, cut them wings off of there and it, it really appears to be ready to go to me. Um, it even came with the pins on it, which that's odd. It's got the two guide wheels on it still, which is good to see, you know. Um, these rolling shields, I've tried them on front mount cultivators. They don't work for crap on them, but 
they may work on these and there's one missing but i've got there's like eight of these things at the farm with the mounts and everything we just don't use them um but i'll see how they work but we're gonna get this home and i also got two more wagons my poor steps here they fell off while my brother and bob were using this tractor last fall and they look like a pancake yesterday it took a lot of uh beating pry bar and smashing with the loader bucket to get it to that shape but it's on there i plan on making an actual nice platform so that it's not a pain in the ass to get in there i mean i'm only 36 years old and it's a pain in the ass to get in there so um, we got in the middle of kind of cleaning up around here getting all my junk out well, they've already taken like eight cars or nine cars or something i got like five left but this is where we're going to call it a video we got the bean buggy out you see the cover crop out there is doing wonderful um extra week of growth is not going to hurt anything so i'd like to thank everybody for watching um if you haven't subscribed already please consider if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up really helps to get the videos out there and uh see the pullers on the trailer plow day got canceled it's too wet to plow we're headed to testing tunes so look forward to that video